so one of my last areas uh, was Laura in the Marshall Islands in Mejiro. And Laura was a place that was called the West Side for the elders. There was uh, four elders and two sisters that were on the West Side. You had Laura, Ajodaki, and Long Island. Um, all the East Side elders were um, in areas called Jendrick, um, Ulaga, Rita, Delop, um, and they were always a lot more successful at the east side. There's just a lot more population on the east side compared to being on the west side. Um, but there was a commitment that we had um, last four months of my mission is that we would not only try to reinactivate a lot of people that were living in the Laura area, that we would teach all of our discussions um, and teach our discussions with members with us. And one of them I specifically remember where my companion and myself, the companion was native, his name is um, Elder Teban, and we went to teach um, this gentleman. And we were actually on the, uh, the lick side, which is Tu Lick, um, which is the ocean side. And we were teaching him about Joseph Smith, and we were teaching him about the Book of Mormon, and we had taught him um, outlines and outlines and discussion after discussion. Um, and he was somebody that had never prayed in front of us. Um, and we asked him to pray. And we asked him to pray and ask if Joseph Smith was a prophet of God. Um, we asked him to skip the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints is a true church. And before we even asked him this, we asked him if he knew how to pray. And he didn't, and that was our fault. And so we took the time to show him exactly how to pray. And I said that I would pray first, and then that my companion would pray second, and we'd all ask, and they would have him pray to make him feel more comfortable. Um, I remember as we kneeled down in, on the sand, uh, we're underneath, it's called a may tree, a breadfruit tree, hearing the ocean side just crash and crash. It was peaceful, but it was also very, you know, felt like there was chaos too, which is crazy. Um, but I remember the moment that when he kneeled down and, and asked if Joseph Smith was a prophet of God, um, he paused for 35 seconds. And the overwhelming feeling that, that he felt and that I felt and my companion felt um, brought him to tears. Uh, brought my companion to tears. Uh, when he was finished the prayer, we both, we all three of us embraced um, and hugged. It, it almost felt like that we had this huge burden or that um, lifted and this, this feeling of, of greatness around us. I remember him saying that, that, Enjage Emman, Enjage Emman, that it feels good. Um, and from that point, he was baptized, and his wife was baptized. Um, you know, I learned a lot from that.